Good afternoon and welcome to St. Francis. Our gathering song is number 314, All Are Welcome. Number 314. struggles, our faults, our failures, and our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You lead us to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
truth to those who go astray, so that all may return to the right path. Give all for the faith they profess are counted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance, our redemption as God's position, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Um, we also have a small medical clinic 
This was set up by the Irish Accredited Visionary of Mary and Sisters. And initially it was set up as a mother and child clinic, but with the advent of HIV AIDS and increasing numbers coming to the clinic, they branched out to help these people also. We also have a mobile ambulance that goes out around the area, treating people where we find them on the streets and so on. And one time I was out uh, driving the ambulance and some people kept to us and they said, you must come quickly. We have found the body of a young woman by the side of the building. She's weak, still alive. And her name is Chidosia, and she was 22 years of age at the time. So we brought her back to the clinic, and the sisters kept her and nursed her back to health. She worked in the clinic for about a year, maybe months. She was a very bubbly and lively kind of person. It was a great source of help to those uh, who were sick like herself, who were coming for treatment. After the 18 months, we transferred her to the, um, the Women's Training Centre and she completed her diploma programme. And I'm happy to say at this stage she runs a small little dressmaking business and a little kind of cafe on the side of the street where, through which she looks after um, herself and uh, her children. Now, what makes these kind of projects possible and what sustains them is the generosity of people like yourselves. We have no one else to turn to but to visit parish communities as we are this weekend to talk a bit about the work that we do and throughout Africa and the various projects that we have and to invite you to participate uh, and help us. Because this is something we do together. As a missionary, I go and work in Africa, but if it wasn't for the prayers and the support and the generosity of people like yourselves, we could never begin to do the work that we do. And this is really what Jesus is talking about in this evening's gospel. We are all called in different ways to be Christ's presence in the world around us. I do it as a missionary working in Africa. You do it in your own square acre of influence, here in your parish community, in the local community around you, as you face the various challenges. You come together and you reach out together to, to face these challenges and to find solutions and ways of helping each other along. And also, to take that out wider, uh, to be Jesus' presence in cooperating together to make life better for those who are trapped in this grinding uh, poverty and help them kind of rise above it. And um, so this evening, I do appeal for your help and your support. And I ask for your help so that young women like Jadizia will have a choice in life other than and there is a basket there at the back that is labeled a uh, special collection. So please, whatever you can afford to give us, do. And I thank you for your generosity. I'd like to thank Father Neil also for his warm welcome. I know he's coming here himself for the first time also. And I know you look after him very well. So thank you again, Father and Sister. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now let us stand as we profess the faith that unites us to the people of every land throughout the world. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things in this world. Amen. Amen.
needs the needs of all the people throughout the world. For the church, that God's people may not fear or silence those voices that challenge us to be more faithful to the Gospels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that the leaders of nations may turn their hands from violence and injustice and turn towards ways of righteousness and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, that we who have been forgiven our trespasses through God's blood will eagerly make known God's saving love to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people in need of food, housing, or medical care, that those with resources to help will not refuse to hear the cries of the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may be sustained by active support from friends at home and receive a steady welcome in distant lands. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who travel will be safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Give courage and faith to those who are discerning a vocational call to religious or single life, marriage, or priesthood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are ill will have compassionate care and find spiritual strength grow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will receive the promised inheritance of redemption. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, Peter Diaz. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And asking for the blessed mother's continued intercession in our lives, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Lord, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Look upon the offerings of the church, Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. 
and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It's our duty and salvation at all times to give you thanks, Father most holy, for you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed, the afflicted, and the imprisoned. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you love and care for all of your children. And so we join angels and saints now in their song of praise. Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis Saviour and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. And protect us from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant peace and unity in our days in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. We share a sign of that peace with one another.
we'll make a thing for a couple of first timers. We did okay. Huh? I think so. All right, good enough. And let's thank Father Mark for being with us. <laughs> Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow more and more. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go forth now glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is 385, so you've got the 385.